This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 18th, just one week before Christmas. And it looks like uh, the stormy weather arrived uh, around midnight or so in parts of northwestern part of the state, but it's uh, now moving about half the front is about halfway through the state. Let's take a look at the satellite image this morning, and we see we have a good deal of clouds over uh, a large portion of the southeastern United States. And uh, on the weather uh, map, you can see that we do have this front that is moving through central Alabama this morning. As a matter of fact, the uh, front is on the leading edge of the precipitation, so much of the precipitation is actually behind the front. And uh, that uh, means that uh, the initial amount of precipitation is probably going to be fairly light, but then we'll get some light to moderate rain behind the front as the precipitation continues uh, through much of the day today. In the upper atmosphere, of course, we have this trough that is moving uh, through the uh, central United States and uh, will be moving across the eastern part of the country over the next couple of days, and that will be chilling us down. Uh, there's some pretty chilly temperatures up there in the north central part of the United States. Look at those values in the Dakotas from minus 13 to minus 29, and those are actual values. Those are not wind chills. So it's very, very cold up there. It's colder in the southeastern U.S. and across uh, central Alabama, but certainly not as cold as that. Uh, you can see that we have 30s uh, or values in the 30s across the Tennessee River Valley. But uh, look down at the southeast part of the state. They're in the lower 70s. Montgomery at 72. So uh, a 35, degree, uh, 35 degrees at Muscle Shoals and 72 at Mobile and Montgomery. So quite a range across the uh, state of Alabama. All the purple that you see are winter weather advisories. Uh, the darker purple and dark blue in Texas and parts of uh, Arkansas and Oklahoma, those are freeze advisories or, and or warnings. And then those blues, the light blue and the kind of the grayish blue, uh, those are all wind chill and uh, uh, wind chill advisories and, and warnings. All right, the QPF, uh, the rain is going to be essentially uh, over this afternoon. So I think most spots will get on the order of about a half inch. Uh, and then we get another round of rain on Thursday. And right now the European and the GFS are pretty uh, much in agreement that it's not going to be a big rain event, probably less than a half inch and maybe even less than a quarter of an inch. Storm Prediction Center has no severe weather outlook for day one, no severe weather for day two, and no thunderstorms at all for day three. All right, the 06 CGFS model run, and uh, here's our front uh, moving through the area uh, this afternoon, and you can see the uh, rain should be ending from the northwest. Uh, we are concerned because of the temperatures across the Tennessee River Valley, and the GFS is painting uh, kind of a mixture of winter precipitation across the Tennessee River Valley, dipping actually down into the northern sections of um, central Alabama, including parts of I mean, Marion, Winston, and uh, Coleman counties. I think the ground temperatures are still too warm for any uh, serious issues related to uh, travel. It's going to be one of those things where probably uh, you'll see it mostly on elevated surfaces, elevated metal surfaces like cars and signs and uh, that sort of thing. By Monday at uh, 18Z, uh, we, we see that we have weak ridging coming across the southeastern United States, and the front still uh, producing a little bit of rain as it's a little bit slow uh, to get out of the southeast part of the state of Alabama, but across our, our area we, sh we will be dry, and uh, it's going to be kind of a coolish day on uh, Monday uh, as uh, we see highs having trouble getting uh, higher than about the mid-40s or so. The more or less zonal flow continues on Tuesday, so we should be dry, and we should begin to now warm up fairly uh, quickly as highs climb back into the 50s. We're, uh, we're seeing a little bit of weak ridging on Wednesday, so that's another dry day, but our eyes are now turned to the northwest as we're watching that system come through the Dakotas. That system is going to uh, move fairly quickly as uh, the upper flow remains pretty uh, progressive right now. And that will move into the eastern Great Lakes, and that drags the trough across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So uh, yesterday, the European and the GFS were a little bit uh, out, of, um, uh, out of phase with each other, but they have become more in phase with each other. And they're both now showing at least some precipitation, but not necessarily a lot of precipitation. Again, I think probably most places getting less than a quarter of an inch. That system moves by 
by Friday as it moves out into the uh, southeast U.S. coast. Uh, so once again, Friday, we, we were beginning to dry out with high pressure settling in over uh, the uh, eastern sections of the Ohio River Valley. Saturday uh, is going to be another dry day for us, uh, the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve. But we're watching, uh, again, our eyes turn to the west as we're watching the development of another trough that's digging into uh, the southwestern United States. Uh, and uh, that trough uh, definitely digs in as it begins to come out of the Rockies, as it digs across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So that actually paints a rather uh, wet day for Christmas Day. It looks like it'll probably start out fairly warm uh, and dry during the early part of the day, but then uh, it turns wetter. And uh, once again, we'll see temperatures probably fairly warm through much of the day, but depending on exactly when the front passes, uh, it could be another one of those situations that we're seeing right now where the temperatures uh, actually will fall. Looking out into voodoo country, we see a pretty good ridge uh, from the 26th through the 27th of uh, December. Uh, so we're going to stay dry in that period, and, um, and that continues into the 28th and 29th. But by the 30th, we're watching a very strong-looking system, a very uh, strong trough, as well as a nice uh, deep closed low over northeastern Oklahoma. Uh, and that certainly looks uh, wet and stormy for maybe the last couple of days of December. But when we get out to the 1st of January, uh, we're back under the ridge, so it looks like the first two or three days of January is likely to be dry and fairly uh, mild as far as temperatures go. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day, stay warm, and Godspeed.